Good morning, it's a new day, uh, and I'm still in bed, as you can see. I have gotten up a couple of times, but I'm hanging out doing work from bed. Uh, because of, you know, all of the chronic pain, I find that doing as many things from a seating or laying down position as possible uh, <laughs> tends to reduce the occasions of me having to stay in bed all day. So so I'm, uh, I'm just finishing up some work here. I was doing some video editing and uh, some, you know, general admin. And now I'm going to give Lily a hand cleaning her room. Um, it should be a fun day. We don't have an awful lot planned. There's still stuff going on at the bowling alley. So Jen and Josh and Julian are taking care of that today. Um, we have some other issues that I'm not sure I can talk about, but we have to be around home for a while. Um, that was very cryptic. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but you can PM me if you want more details, I guess. Um, and then also Chris is coming to town all of a sudden. He's coming to visit family at the last minute. So we'll get to see Chris today too. So yay, should be a good day. So we decided that Sundays were going to be pizza day, make your own pizza day because that, you know, adds variety because everyone can do exactly what they want and it's a nice cheap meal you know we're making our homemade pizza dough so i'm actually just headed to the kitchen now to help lily with that because i believe this is the first time she's used this recipe that i just sent her so we're going to work on it together So Lily's making some gluten-free flour here because I can't have regular flour, so we're, we're milling our own. I was like, awesome, the food truck is here. And then two trucks go. Julian found the dehydrator! Woo! Victory! So now I can make some garlic powder. We definitely have to clean it first though, because yes. it was in the garage. Yes. <laughs> I'm actually quite excited about this gluten-free flour that we're milling ourselves with our Vitamix. Oh, actually, we have a blend tech now. Um, but yes, I'm very excited about this gluten-free flour that we're milling ourselves because, well, gluten-free flour is very expensive. So we're doing a mix of lentil flour and rice flour mixed into the tiny bit of gluten-free flour that we have left. So uh, because I'm trying to like, you know, uh, document the, it's like what I call my, tell my kids, you know, document everything. I'm looking over here because Jen is with me. I'm not just going Hello. crazy, not just going, not crazy. Just going crazy. Yeah. Uh, we could do two things. Uh, but anyways, I, I do think it's important because one of the things I talk about a lot is communication and how crucial that is. And, uh, you may or may not know that we live in a house with a lot of people coming and going, like there's, there's, there's a lot of us around. Um, and we because we freelance uh, and you know work for ourselves. We have a lot of moving pieces. Uh, there's also a lot of external stresses like there is in everyone's life. Well, wait till so, you find out what yeah, they are. We, we can't can, say yet. I, I was funny, I already <laughs> kind of alluded to it earlier. I was like, oh wait, I can't talk about that. But if yeah, you want to too. know more, just send me a message maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yes, lots of external stresses as well. Uh, so, you know, communication becomes very crucial. So sometimes our day, like why I haven't been filming much today, aside from making pizza, um, is because it's been a day of almost entirely communication. Like we just sat here for an hour talking. Through, yeah, we're going to you know, do 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Talking through communication things. So, um, you know, when people ask me how we managed to live in community like this uh, when it's hard enough to live with one person sometimes you know or with a family i can annoy many people simultaneously right. communication so much communication all the communication all the time all the so time. much talking so, so much, much talking. talking oh my god so it's, much talking. I, I you know it's it's good though because it took me an hour to get out all the things like back and forth that we had to say and when I, if you say it to my husband he'd go and <laughs> they do that they do that the fellows literally like they we'll have like very important conversations through text and then we get and, well, actually josh is doing that in real life now <laughs> yeah, and moving on to the next thing but in a way i think and, and i think sometimes you know watching um stressors go on and off you know it, it it's it's when you're in community you affect a lot more people and sometimes you know you would get in our own heads and we have to consider not just one, two, but like more people. Uh, but, but we also, should all be doing that all the time. All the time. To be fair. Well, and, like, and but the thing is, like I mean, the whole world, not just us. <laughs> but typically, that is the kind of people we are and what mm -hmm. we do all the time. But when the external stresses come, sometimes that triggers traumas that trigger behaviors that aren't 
um, as, hey, I didn't sign up for this, <laughs> right? Um, it, it's, like, it's like when Lyndon started hitting me. I was like, wait a minute, I'm cool auntie. When did you? Oh, toddlers apparently do that in their defiance, and they don't like yeah. to hear the word no. And I was like, oh, I suppose because I gave you everything you wanted. Well, or... Lily tried to scratch people's eyes out when she was a baby. So she got over it quickly, just as Lyndon did with the, yeah. with the hitting. Well, that's but, what I'm saying. Sorry, no. by the way, it's not like a wrestling match. <laughs> Actually, he does like to do wrestling, but yeah. that's with the cars. But you know what I'm saying. But we're having pizza, and I think that was really the point of this, is if you communi communicate long enough, Lily will finish making the pizza dough for you. <laughs> And she did. And she did a she, lovely job. We even milled our own flour. Our gluten-free oh, flour. Wow. Yeah, so. I made... Well, not fluffle flour, uh, lentil flour, because yeah, Sarah, so, I didn't know that was a thing. So we, we strained that, like, so that it's flour flour. Yeah, that's so communication lentil, meal, lentil to take flour. Yeah. We made rice flour as well and mixed that with what we had left of gluten-free flour. So now we have, you just like... just put stuff in a blender and it becomes flour. I didn't know that, because I was like, they're all gluten-free, or, well, she is, and it's healthier. I, and I was like, but it's so expensive. It's actually not necessarily healthier. It's just healthier for me. Like, okay. it's not like gluten is bad in and of itself. I'm pretty sure gluten's uh, not so good for uh, Crohn's, so I'm yeah, pretty sure... It's like top of the for crumbs, you as well. So. That's true. But uh, the point was, I didn't know that. So I was like, I got, we have so many lentils. Like I used to, we, when we joined households, we bought so many lentils because we were going to get healthy. And then we're like, we don't know how to cook lentils. I so just... also like have a lot of lentils in the house. And then PJ also brought us like 10,000 tons of beans so and lentils, which lentils. is fantastic. Which is great because when money's tight, you know, hey, what are we having for dinner? Oh, baby, you guess is lentils. Turns out, I, like, I really like lentils anyways, though, yeah. and I could live off of lentils. I so. made patties into lentils. I'll do anything and make a patty. It's my new thing. So anyways, communicate enough and then you get pizza. And know. this is, now imagine uh, the communication goes round and round in just basic. So when it's something serious, it's really good to take that time um to to nurture your relationship and actually it will make me much more productive i think and everyone else later yeah. so not always going to be perfect but communicating is good it that is. is all and delia has cotton candy because her and her friend are here making cotton candy in our little mini like cotton candy machine that we've used for I parties for years myself. don't <laughs> put in too much though just put in like a few things maybe yeah, Why is it tiny? That's the best ever. <laughs> I'm done now. <laughs> is one of these gluten free? Yeah. Yeah, the little bowl is. Very good. And the dough is done to rising, so it's almost pizza time. And now we're headed off to get Violet because she has a rehearsal for a play. So Josh has taken over pizza duty and he's going to do the kneading and make the sauce for us because he's awesome. Thank you, Josh. Woo! So we've got a nice country drive on route to pick up by. That's a it's a nice little relaxing moment in the day. So if any of you three want to make a pizza too. Yeah, so this has been a hectic day, like not in the same ways as normal. Normally it's you know work chaos, um, you know, among other things, but also, this is an exciting day because now it's time to go pick up Chris and we weren't actually supposed to see him until WBC, the World Board Game Championships, uh, coming up in a month, but he's in town. Surprise visit! Yay! So I'm on my way to do that. All right, so I've made it in to pick up Chris. Now I just have to find him because he's in downtown Ottawa somewhere. Came back to find people playing wingspan, getting ready for WBC, right? Is yeah. that the plan? It was that the time pressure. So, so he went floor. from there. He was made to be a manager of. We're, we're learning things game. about wrestling right now. We we also a thing that we do is a lot of watching wrestling. And Chris is telling us now that a particular wrestler that we watch now was a masked wrestler that we watched before. So. Dun, dun, dun. Well, which one is he now? Orange Cassidy. You don't know Orange Cassidy. Master of Sloth Style. <laughs> like, well, has he never been to any of the shows? Like, no, he's, 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 this he's year. part of a really big US, uh, the second largest US league. AEW, sometimes we watch it. It's where, where Stu's at. Oh, like online. Yeah, yeah. Well, they well, have live shows. They just don't Florida, have them mostly here. Mostly in Florida. Yeah. Well, actually, mostly all across the U.S. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways, but yeah, he so. uh, he used to be Fire Ant, I believe. So uh, In Chicago, right? Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. yeah. So Chris has the knowledge. No. Well, I gotta see what this dude looks yeah. like. Orange Cassidy. What's worse is I have a friend who's an older gentleman 
looks like just an older version of him. So we're, <laughs> we, we have the six degrees of separation all around. So. <laughs> and now we get to see Pony who won X. before we play our next Pony game. X. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh yeah, Lila kicked our bullets. Uh, food or What's cards? Uh, just food. one here. You should no. also have one because uh, you got one when she got one. That's I'm right. One. Turn so out, by the way. Yes. Do we have a final score, guys? So yes. Lily eighty-seven. Nice. Jen, 72. I was 63. Nice. Good job, Lil. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. Boo! <laughs> yeah, because I didn't get any bonus cards, right? So yeah. I just had this one. I never oh, yeah, bonus And now what are we playing? Uh, Anomia. Woo! So I think we were going to... And, okay. and oh, I mean, by anomia, yeah, okay. by anomia, she means utter chaos. We might, we, we might actually film part of this just so you can see. So fun! If you've never seen anomia, yeah, it's, it's a good party game. So Jen. Yes. Tell us about the game that we're going to play. Okay, we're playing Anomia. And this is a special game because I <laughs> loved this when we first played it um, at Sarah's house, but apparently I was quite obnoxious playing it because I used to drink a lot of red wine. And then Sarah, knowing this, still bought this for me, the party pack version. But then Josh and I were like, we don't have any friends besides you to play <laughs> games with. So it just sat there until we all lived together. So it's a game where you just find a thing and then like it, if these shiny. matches, let's say these were both the same symbol. Uh, one is gymnast, one is first lady. I would have to say a first lady, the person who had the other one would have to say a gymnast. That's how you play, it's pretty simple. And it's a lot of fun, it's quick, and you don't have to think too much, but you have to think quickly. So what she means by that is that it's utter chaos. And what she didn't mention, by the way, when she said that it just sat on a shelf for a while, that was because nobody wanted to play it. And in fact, the original copy got hidden on our shelves because every time they came over, that's all she wanted to play. And so we played Anomia like 4,000 times. That's because they play strategy games and then they learn it and then they never play it again. And so I'm like, I want to play the thing I learned. So now I go to W... Frankly, I think it's just because she likes to yell things. But, you know. It's very that's, ah, and that's part of the rules. Yeah. Anyway, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to see how this <laughs> game plays out. Circle. I still don't know. Children's off. I still don't understand. You'll figure it out. They match each other. Uh, Mary Lou Retton. Is that a gymnast or is that a figure skater? I don't know. Whatever, every question. I, I can't. Dr. Seuss is the only thing I can think Simone. of. Simone. Yeah. Dr. Seuss. But, you. Dr. but Dr. no, Seuss but was is, Mary Lou's right. I have to do right. children's author. But I have okay, to, if, if, are we going to have to look up? Yeah, we have to look is up. Is Mary Lou right? <laughs> Someone can look that up. Please. First 10. So this is actually kind of hilarious because we, I don't, I mean, we rarely yeah. ever yeah. use Google for this, ever. And the first card we flip that is a match we have to Google whether or not the thing that Jen She's said is even a thing. She and is. she was right! Win. Victory for Jen! Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, um, Sam Boop. Yeah, Sam, wait. Hanson. Hanson? Did you choose Hanson for something? Yeah, Are you going to say Sam oh, Boop? We're Cassandra. very Canadian. No, trying to think of okay, Canada. we're done. And we, now we get to count our cards and see who won. I have a whole five <laughs> cards. But it turns out Rosie, who'd never played this game, kind of cleaned up. Here. So it's just a matter of 24. whether I have more cards 20. or not. Let's find out. Here, someone hold this. Can I, so, can I count some? All right. I think let's you do have it. more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Do I? Yeah. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Barely. Whoa! Third place! Yay! Woo! And I didn't even know the how. Okay, so I've had my my Anomia victory. Girls are writing songs together. I'm working on putting together. A package for a show that it looks like I'll be doing wardrobe for so watch for more information about that as that unfolds uh, and I guess that's a day for us so that is the day in the life over here as you can see completely wildly divergent from yesterday and uh, I'm sure you'll notice that that continues as the days go on.